friends welcome back to my channel i'm sarah thank you so much for watching if you are new welcome to the club if you've been here before thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos i really appreciate it um today's video is ultimately an update on the supremes if you guys don't know who the supremes are they are my three stranded cactus and i had to do some sorry there's like a person looking at me through my window weird okay so the Supremes are my cacti. I had to do ultimately a little bit of plant surgery on them a while ago. So I just want to update that because anytime I watch anyone's like plant videos, I'm like, okay, I see you did this, but like, what's the end result? Like it's been months, like what's happening? Are they alive? Did they survive? Like I need details. So that's what today's video is all about. If you have a cacti, if you've done, if they start to have like bad new growth, that's ultimately what happened. They were growing, they weren't getting enough sun in the place that I originally had them. So I'm gonna show you guys where I have them now. They're sitting in my living room in front of my big window. So they're getting all the sunlight that they can get. And literally ever since I moved them, they have been thriving. So sometimes, I think this is a great lesson in life, that sometimes you just need a little bit of sun, a new environment, new energy, and you are just gonna grow, 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 grow. So that's what happened. So I just want to update you guys. And I'm also giving away one of their pups to one of my friends. I'm going to propagate it in this for her. She's actually on her way here. So I need to do that really quickly. Um, and then I'm also giving her a snake plant. She's gonna have to repot it herself. Listen, I'm when it comes to plant life, I I end up being the one that kind of introduces all my plants to like plant life plant moms, all that parenthood to all my friends, but I'm only going to give them so much. They're going to have to grow on their own. I'm going to help you set yourself up for success, but then I want you to kind of take it over so you get connected and you can name your own plants. Like me, like I have Marvin, I have Derek. They're actually in the living room right now because I plan on um, just doing a little bit of plant care with them. So I moved all my plants there for now. So that's why you don't see Derek behind me. Um, He's over there. But like I said, I named mine. So it's like, I want them to be as connected to their little plant kids as I am to mine. So I'm only gonna do so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot um, one of the pups and tea here for her so she already have this pot. It already has a drainage hole. Let me show you, I already have soil in here. So I always say go with one that has drainage or that already has like, for my, cat, my other cactus, it comes with a watering pot. So it allows the water to seep through while the soil takes what it needs. So then you're not overwatering. It's really, it's really helpful for beginners, by the way. Um, okay, so let me update you. Let me go grab it and I will be right back. Okay, so here they are. As you see, they were thriving in that area that I just showed you. Um, this was the pot that I was talking about earlier, about like the self-watering pot. So any excess water goes here, so you're not overwatering. It's really great, it's really nice. I just got this from Home Depot, I think, for like ten dollars. Um, yeah, so she is getting one of these pups here and um in case i'm gonna link the videos i probably have already done it but i'm gonna do it again go watch that video first so you can see the process of how i end up taking off their tops and the brown part is just the cinnamon that i added to it, which helps like um avoid any infections or bacteria getting into them because it's literally like their raw skin and soil and their base so i just wanted to make sure it was like clean and healthy and it is and they thrived and now they have little babies and one of these babies has to go into here so it can go with its new mom and um, so i'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly and then i will come back and show you guys the process i just want to get this to her asap because she's coming for it i want this to be an easy cleanup so i'm just going to put down some newspaper I have old soil in here that I'm gonna revise later. Oof, easy cleanup is done. It just got everywhere. Okay. Breaking up the soil, Just using my hands at this point. So I just dumped out all the old soil that I had in here. So now she has a fresh pot and I'm gonna put it in with the new soil as well as the cactus and succulent food that I got from, what company is this? Dynamite. I got all this from Home Depot, but you can get wherever you want, any like plant store. 
there's a variety of types. I just really like this one because it really helps um, my other cacti grow. And then water storing crystals are great. You don't need a lot because this is such a small um, pot. And then some plant food sticks that I'm gonna stick in here as well. We are really setting her up for success. And then you guys are just gonna follow this to do your own. It's really simple. Um, let me just grab the pups. Actually, let's do the um, soil packing first. So gloves are on. Just gonna dump out the new soil. no like ants or anything that could be festering in here it's pretty clean which is great because i got this from outside so i just want to make sure it's pretty clean looks good to me okay so what i'm gonna do there's a wig hair in here <laughs> i'm gonna take a sip of my coffee actually I feel like I'm giving like bohemian housewife vibes. Just doing my little gardening, you know, just hanging out in the like, in the office, planting. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the food to the soil now so it can just mix up evenly. Wait, you guys can see this. How do I show you this? Hold on, I want to get both of you so you can see. I'm working and I'm not. Okay, okay, so this is the cactus food I just added, so I'm just mixing that in. as even as possible. And then you guys are there. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more once that my earrings coming out. I went from housewife to like distraught, <laughs> distraught gardener really quickly. Okay, one sec. Oof. Okay. There we go. A little bit more. Also, just so you guys can see up here what it looks like. This food is really important for your plants, just like water is, especially cacti. Cacti can go a while without um without water, which is why they're a desert plant. Um, but food is kind of essential to their growing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put the base in now that we've mixed the food in. I'm gonna pack that in as such. I'm gonna take one of our spikes because we have this food, you don't need a lot. It's gonna split it in half, taking that because this is a tiny pot. Stick that in. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut our pub. Over. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this one because I like that it already has roots coming out, so it will embed easily into the soil. Um, so let's go for that one. I'm gonna switch hands. I don't know where my other glove is. While I was doing this, it has fallen and it won't come back okay hopefully this works this. make sure the knife that you're using is disinfected i um sprayed this with alcohol i cleaned it you don't want any like bacteria or anything like that because it will rot your pants i'm just gonna pop it from the side oh, baby. Okay. 
These gloves are not doing anything. <laughs> I feel it all. Yep, almost. I know. You don't want to let your kid go. I get it. You're a protective parent. So close. Ouch. Yeah, these gloves are not doing anything for me. I'm feeling all these things. Okay. Ah, oh, baby's gone. Great. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. Picked up some dirt when he fell. And then that's the base. And then I'm gonna show you where I cut him from. Here. That's the part that was connected to the mother plant. Which is there. I can't really see it. Let me get my other camera. <laughs> so it's be that part is where they were connected, that little white part. It's showing up. Okay. So yeah. So this is the pup. Closer look. Um yeah, this way. And this is these the roots. I think this one's gonna grow really well for her. Okay, this is the parent. So as you can see, the Supremes are doing really well. Um, I'm gonna let these pups grow out a bit more before I take any more off. Um, but if anyone is interested, let me know. Send me a DM if you're looking for a pup. Maybe I can send one over to you. Um, contact list, obviously. Okay. <laughs> And if you have any questions about your crack dye and how um, you're trying to propagate or if you're getting any um, new growth that's not healthy, um, like I said, watch my first video. If you still have questions, just DM me or um, leave a comment below and I will make sure to get back to you. So I'm gonna switch this back to my normal hand, my dominant hand. And I'm gonna go ahead, got a little dirty falling in the thing, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and drop him in the base that we have now. Just a little low for him. That's okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. So we just did our first half of our plant stick in there. More dirt. You wanna make sure you're leaving kind of like a couple holes. Like as I'm putting it in, I'm still making like a tiny little two finger <laughs> like this space. I'm so immature. Um, sticking it around like this. So I'm like cupping the size of the walls. Like let's get it in there. Um, so yeah, how are you guys doing during quarantine right now? Is planting like a new hobby for you? Have you been planting and you're just like, Looking up new um, styles. What's happening? He's lit my face. Uh, for me, I kind of got into planting and getting a green thumb because my mom is really into planting and candles. So I feel like that influence kind of rubbed up on me. So those are like my two favorite things to do in my downtime, make candles and um, plant. So you see the little buffer I left by squeezing the walls here. That's where we're gonna put the baby. This baby looks like, he's kind of dirty. That's okay, but he's embedded in there, which is good. I'm gonna take my other half of my plant stick, food stick, I'm gonna stick it in the corner here. And we're gonna dig it in. Let's do that way. Because we want it by the root. So it will recognize that it's in here. I'm so excited for her. This is how you know it's just like good love. And I feel like if you're gonna give someone a plant, make sure you're giving it with like good intention, good heart. Like, it's like with any gift. You don't wanna get it thinking like you're gonna get something in return. And if you're giving a plant to someone that's never like done plants before, if the plant dies, I'll be like, oh my God, I should've never given you baby Archie. Or what did I call Susie? I called her Susie. This earring though? Even though these earrings are bomb, they're so cute. They are um, 
kind of weird. You need a backing on them or they will slip through your ears. I think I got these from Nasty Gal like a while ago. But yeah, okay, so let's say Susie doesn't make it. Don't, I would never feel like any issues with her or anything like that. I would just be like, okay, let's try to figure out if you really like want to plant or whatever. Let's try to figure out like why, like what was the issue? Like maybe it's like sunlight, anything like that. Because trust me, I've killed off a few of my own plants and been so sad about it. Um, so I would never pass that judgment on anyone. Planting is not always easy. Like that's why I think not that many people do it. You gotta sit here, you gotta nurture it. It's like having a pet. Which is why I never got into it until I was older. Because I was like, I'm not about to be in nobody's yard. Maybe I just have ancestry trauma. But I was like, I'm not about to be in nobody's yard working in no one's fields which was my own backyard, by the way. <laughs> it was my yard that I did not want to work. So that's why I never, I always like did like a mini garden here and there, but like serious planting, like some plants. No, I was not here for it. So let me grab the base of this. Take my one glove off, Lord. So this is the base for this one. I got this pot off of Amazon. I will link it below and then so these are the two that she's getting for me. She's getting a snake plant that she's gonna repot herself. And then she's getting a new cacti um, that I just propagated that you guys watched me do. So hopefully you guys are having a wonderful and safe time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.